Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about micros. The one that I have used, the pre-built ones, not the built ones that we, we build them. Those will be upcoming in another video. So I've used these and I've put enough time in these to actually come back and give my verdict on each of them and what are the pros and what are the cons and what I have noticed on issues. And um, yeah, I mean, just, just we're just here to check it out. So let's get started. Alright, so first let's start with the ones that I hate. So let's move these guys to the side. And... It would be these two. This one I got a long time ago. I think it was called the Lanshin 90X or the Air Fund. It was okay. It was it, you have to fight it to keep it up. It was it wasn't good. Uh, you you would have kind of okay. You I don't know. You wouldn't even have fun with this to be honest. So push that one to the side. That one, I don't even think they sell that one anymore. This one came out recently, maybe two months ago, and I could never get it to fly. Thirty seconds. Actually, the first seven seconds of flight is awesome, and then after that, it's just it's dead. It dies. The battery just gets sucked completely. So the best flight time I've ever gotten with this was 30 seconds. And that's not even me landing. That's it dying and just falling out of the sky. So this one I would definitely not recommend. And I have even purchased a ton load of micro batteries because I thought the problem was with my batteries. I bought it to Turner Geographians. I bought it to GNB. I bought it. So many batteries. And I could never get it to fly more than 47 seconds, which is terrible. And it's absolutely Bad, in my opinion, I don't know how other people got it to fly, but this thing they just did not want to fly with me. Maybe mine was a bad model, and um, it was just terrible. So this was the GoFly Falcon, or yeah, I think it's called the GoFly Falcon. So this one, put it to the side. I, I wouldn't purchase this, that's for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the cheapest one here, and I think it's one of these two here. Now this one I got before this one. And when I got this one, it was beautiful. You don't have to fight it. It flies. It has a little punch to it. It's like a good, well-balanced micro quadcopter with a nice little punch. Not a super crazy punch, a nice punch, a little above average punch to it. And it just flew beautiful. Batteries came down awesome. Um, everything about it was nice. I didn't have to edit anything into it. No change. To, I didn't have to edit any of the tuning. It just flew beautiful. However, as time goes on and you crash it more and more, um, everything still works perfect, but this upper plate here, the screws stop really holding, they kind of get stripped inside, see these? It strips the part where the, that goes into the top plate here and then just does this, and that affects your camera as you can see there. So this is one down issue, and uh, the camera angle is very good for, for, for this quadcopter, I didn't have any issues with changing, I didn't need to change the camera angle. Um, but you know this is the only issue with it so I'm pretty sure some of you could figure out a way to fix it but overall this one is a beauty other than this top plate issue so this is for the armor and it's still one of my favorites because it's just so well balanced and with that little punch so it's, it's a it's a good like a medium range area kind of flying and it's good for indoors also you could totally fly this indoors so this one is a very good one um, I would give it like a 8 out of 10 because it's, it's a very nice complete package. It could have gotten a 9, but you know, this is the most annoying part right here for me. This is what really throws me off, but it's a very good flyer. Unbelievably awesome flyer. Let's put this guy to the side now. This guy. This guy is also well balanced. You don't have to fight him. It flies beautiful. It's a little bit, it's not as powerful as, let's just say, the armor or any other um, micros that I have here that I have tested. Uh, this one is just overall, all around, very good flyer, uh, well balanced also, you don't have to fight it, it doesn't do anything retarded in the air, it just flies beautiful. However, as you can see here, it's missing some parts, it's because I like it so much that I'm actually conformal coating it to waterproof it, so some of the parts are drying right now, and um, it's easily repairable, so this is also good for a beginner who doesn't know how to solder, because even your motors are connected via a connection here, but obviously you're going to have to get the exact ESC for it and the exact flight controller because it's running kind of the same thing as the DYS F4 with the ESCs when they just connect via pins. So it's a very good beginner one or just someone who doesn't have good knowledge in the soldering and fixing. You could totally enjoy it. Plus it's not that expensive and it just flies very nice. Now this is the, called the awesome UB. And I'll leave a link to everything down below as well as the reviews of these uh, down below in the description. So this one I would give also, I would say, I would give it a 7 out of 10 also. It's because it's just average. It doesn't have that little extra punch like I mentioned, but it flies beautiful and it's responsive. So this one is a good one. And I would totally recommend. This is why I'm waterproofing it. Alright, let's move up the scale here. The Aurora. 
Now this is from Transtake, and this had the potential to be one of the best micros, not in terms of speed, in the absolute well-balanced uh, criteria, I would say. Because this thing, I have yet to fly a micro that flies like this. It's so smooth, it's so responsive. It's not very fast, but it's, it's fast, but it's just like average fast. But there's something about it, the way it flies is just insane. It's really, really insane. However, there was one very big bad issue with this, which was the bottom plate. The bottom plate when it first came out was one millimeter. And um, the first day I actually broke it and it was very bad and I was very upset with Transtech. And actually Transtech wrote me and said, hey, we're increasing the bottom plate and we will send you one of the new bottom plates. And that was super awesome. So now these come with a thicker bottom plate. They're gonna, they said they're gonna increase it between 1.5 millimeters to two millimeters, which is plenty enough and should be good. Hopefully they go with the two millimeters. But this one, OSD, everything, it's just insanely good. You don't even feel like you're flying a micro. You, I felt like I was flying a six inch because the amount of thrust in a way that it has, it just felt like I was flying a piece of paper. It was just that good, like I just punched the throttle, it just goes wherever I wanted to go. So this one is just insane. And, and another thing that's super crazy about this, it is hella efficient. I'm talking about five minutes of six minutes of flight time sometimes, which is just insane for a micro, uh, in my opinion. And I really do love this one, and I, I, I really like it actually a lot. So after they fix that issue, it's becoming, I'm actually flying it more and more and more and more because I love it. And it's very good all around, very efficient, which is a big plus. So this one is a good one. Now the SPC-90GF. This one is a beast. It's pretty expensive but it is hella fast. You don't have to fight it, it doesn't do anything retarded. It has a pretty good tune out of the box and you just plug it in and fly. Plug it in and fly. OSD, it has everything you want and more. And it's it doesn't have as good of a flight time as the others because it's just so powerful. It's insanely fast, like it's crazy fast, this one. And um, it's very good if you just wanted to go all crazy, you could just go ahead and go crazy. However, the pr price for this is a bit steep, it's above 200 bucks. But it does come with this awesome bag and it comes with some crazy stuff with it. It comes with two batteries. So, I mean, it kind of justifies in a way, plus the performance. And it's using some high quality components, for example, some name brand components for like like the Runcam Micro here. And um, I've had no issues with it. It has a buzzer LED. It's This one's a beauty. It's, it's, it's absolutely insane. And this thing will be able to take a hit. As you can see, the bottom plate here is around three millimeters, the top plate is around two millimeters, which is a beast. And it just has this nice, sexy look to it. It's just absolutely sexy. Uh, this one is a very beautiful quad. And the only reason why I'm not waterproofing it is actually I'm afraid to ruin it. I really like it, but I would like a micro, I, I like more efficiency in a micro than speed. Because I just want to have a little thrust, but at the same time just to be efficient because I want to get more flight time in. And um, yeah, this, this whole thing comes down to personal preference. If you want speed and just amazing performance, this guy is gonna be the guy for you. Um, so overall, these are all good. And again, like right now, for example, if I had to choose two to fly for, let's just say I'm going out this weekend and um, I wanted to take only two with me, which two would I take? I would actually go ahead and grab the Aurora and the Armor. I would actually sit down and try to figure out a way to fix the top plate for the armor. But these two are efficient. This one is super efficient. This one's pretty efficient. It has that little extra push. And this one is just very nice for tight spaces and just the, the response is beautiful. I do have the flight footage for these guys and I'll leave a link to everything down below. My reviews on them. So you kind of get an idea of how they fly. Um, and yeah, they're just awesome. So in, in you know, these four here I would totally recommend. Uh, I've been putting a lot of time into them, and um, I'm going to be putting more time and just keep updating you guys. So for 2017, out of the pre-built micros that I have used, I found these four to be good. So if you had any of these in your mind, I would say go ahead and grab them. You have nothing to lose. They're just going to perform beautiful. And, well, that's it, guys. So that's going to conclude it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.